Good morning, IG. Um, <laughs> it feels like Friday. It's a Thursday here in California. Um, I am, you guessed it, at my favorite place um, <laughs> for breakfast. Um, good morning, Renew You Beauty, y Young Faces, Natural Refined. Nice to see you guys. Maddie, Ma Maddie Mendez, Solo Brown. Hello, hello. Uh, Maddie, you're in Paris, right? Because now that I'm starting to remember names and stuff, for you, I shouldn't be saying good morning. I should be saying good afternoon. <clears throat> um, good morning. Good morning, Monko. <laughs> um, good morning, Michelle McKinney. Um, Scam LA Glam. Nice to see you guys. Ebony Tyler Beauty. Good morning, good morning. Um, so, I wanted to say hello. No oh, yeah, go right ahead. Go right ahead. So, I'm sitting outside, and there is a nice gentleman who's trying to do his job. He's asking if he can wash the windows behind me. So, um, I am having an amazing morning so far. Okay, I have avocado toast every single day, but today tasted extra delicious. Um, I think like the person who makes it the best is probably working today, and my coffee's amazing. Um, but I think it's happening because I'm in a really, really good mood. Um, my brother is coming in from New Jersey to come and spend the weekend, and it's my first visitor. My first visitor um, in California from, you know, back east, so really excited about it um and then also it's just been I don't know how you guys are feeling but this <laughs> it's been an intense week um four planets in retrograde um if you're into all of that which I am um and the energy has been you know challenging so like things have just been taking a little bit longer to get done a lot of miscommunications which is mercury and, um it's just a lot of stuff going on and my understanding of it is that why it's happening is so that we have time to slow down and to, you know, go within and think about what we want and how we want to move forward. So I'm trying to take it in stride, but let me be honest with you, I've had a lot of moments this week where I have been impatient as hell and frustrated as hell. Um, I've been negotiating for to purchase a vehicle and like that poor man, <laughs> um, you know, we just have had so much uh, challenges with our communication, but we got it together. So, um, you know, and this morning I just woke up like yesterday, I woke up feeling like crap to be honest. And I went for a hike and, um, you know, just really spent like probably a good hour and a half aligning myself and it ultimately worked. Um, and then just got into my day and had a really, really productive day. And by the end of it, um, felt really grateful and felt really good. Um, and I'm so thankful that I took that time in the morning to, to do that. Um, so I wanted to share that, that especially when you're feeling out of alignment, like that's kind of like the last thing you want to do is work on it. But it just, it changed everything. Um, it, it was really a wonderful day. I'm so happy with all of the conversations I had yesterday with my clients and um, just felt really, really good. Um, and then this morning I woke up feeling really great still from that so like you know if you go to sleep in alignment wake up in that way too which was really nice um watch the little golden girls because that never hurts <laughs> and listen to some abraham hicks but let me tell you why um the even though all of this good stuff was happening when i listened to abraham hicks i actually posted it in my facebook group the one that i listened to this morning it just made sense because it, it was you know i feel like when i put it on youtube like whatever the one that i'm supposed to be listening to is the one that comes up so today it was something about you know um inspiration versus motivation and um how that ties into money and i thought it i've heard it before and it you know kind of resonated today um the idea of you know when you go to work and you're getting paid um you're motivated right to create results to get your work done um, so when you're trying to um, manifest, manifest money, we'll, we'll talk about that one. Um, coming from that place, it's not necessarily true alignment, whereas if you are um, looking to manifest based on inspiration, then you are in alignment to actually receive the money that you want to receive. So um, what I mean by that is, you know, imagine yourself working in a nine to five job that you hate, but you're doing it to pay the bills because you know that it will you'll do the result of, you know, I'm going to get paid, right? I need some money. Um, as opposed to um, doing your own thing, creating your own endeavor, 
um, because you're inspired to and then the money comes from it. So I certainly, certainly live my life that way, but it was such a great distinction because um, I, I do understand the difference between the two. I mean, you can get money either way, but ultimately we're not even really wanting the money. We want the thing that the money's gonna give us, which is like joy, you know, what can we do with it? Um, but it was just a really, really good reminder, and I'll tell you why. I've been, you know, kind of sharing a little bit with you guys the, 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 the not the idea, the, the announcement that I'm going to be, you know, hosting my first class. First, I said in, in Paris, I mean Europe, and then, you know, Paris for sure. So um, it was a good reminder because, like anyone else, you know, when you're trying something new, it's like a little nerve-wracking. I've never produced an event overseas like that. Most of it will happen while I'm here, but here's the thing. It's how the universe works. I have already produced um, a couple events from living in Los Angeles that have taken place in New York. So I kind of know how to do it now. <laughs> um, and uh, also, I was, I've been looking for venues and I have a great relationship with the Westin and it's going to be the Westin, you know? Like, that worked out amazing, just exploring that conversation. And I feel comfortable with it because I know them, I know the brand, um, I know what what that will be. Um, the next part of it, oh my God, how am I going to fill the room? I'm so nervous. I've never, you know, had a class there. Will people come? And, you know, that whole thing. So what am I going to do this time? So the last time to film my, the event that I did in New York, I did a webinar and that worked out great. Um, the strategy is going to be slightly different this time. Might include some, some of that stuff, but still different. And um, I'm just reminding myself that, you know, I'm looking for a different result this time. So I'm doing different things. And every time you do different things, um, it's going to feel like overwhelming um, and scary. And then I remember that, you know, my manifestation, what I really want to manifest is going to come from inspiration. I am inspired to teach a class in Paris. I'm inspired. You know, and I know that I got that inspiration because, you know, the universe put it in me because it's for me. So it all just started to kind of make sense this morning. And I just wrote this amazing entry into my journal of just like the gratitude of knowing that, like, okay, I don't, I really don't know how it's going to happen. I, but part of it too is, you know, the fun of figuring it out along the way. Um, and I think this will resonate with you guys um, because you're all artists as well. But... Um, another thing that I heard in an Abraham uh, session was the idea of we enjoy, or the perspective that we enjoy the manifesting, not the manifestation. And most of us feel like, okay, well, once I have the money, then I can do X, Y, and Z, or whatever. Like your look, your your belief is that you're trying to get to the destination, and it's not true. And they and the example that was used, which was amazing, was a vacation. Um, and it was, and they said, well, why would you go on vacation? Because ultimately, you're going to end up in the same place where you started, which is at home. If you really, really don't care about the journey and you want the destination, why are you going? Why would you go on vacation? And it was such a great. I was just like, you're absolutely right. So, you know, today I am just basking in the excitement and the thrill of my new toy, which is how's this makeup this makeup class going to go in Paris? Like, not so much the result of it you know, will I fold the room? But I'm excited. I'm excited to like put the class together and who am I going to meet? And, you know, I can see myself already, you know, having breakfast, having my, my latte and my glasses of wine and, you know, um, going to different museums and all of that. I can already see it. So I'm going to decide to put a, to do the work that I have to do to get it done, which is, okay, you know, I don't have to think about five steps ahead, but today what needs to happen? to formally announce it I need to have the website ready to go um, you know just take those steps everything else will unfold how it's supposed to unfold um, you guys um, have been writing some things so I want to just scroll down and, and say say hello to, to you guys but I wanted to really share that because you know we have to we got to remember that it we have to just take it little by little and that the things that we're doing we're doing them because they're fun and remember, it's supposed to be fun. It was supposed to be inspired, not motivated. Um, not supposed to be. You can choose to operate with either. Um, I will say that I will choose inspiration because I see how differently um, things go, how much more fun it is. I mean, don't get me wrong. I also freak myself out all of the time, like <laughs> all of the time. And I was uh, chatting with my friend yesterday and I was like, I do this to myself every single month. 
because every single month I have that point where I'm like, you know, worried about money. How's it all going to come together? And then I realized, wow, I had the same conversation with her last month. <laughs> the same one again the month before that and the one before that. And I create it every single time because I keep um, upping the ante. So um, how how could I possibly not believe that I'm in it for the, the joy of it, for the excitement of it, um, you know, for the quote unquote risk of it, you know? So um, I'm sure that I'll say more, but <laughs> let me see what you guys are saying. Uh, Monka J, oh, hi, so nice to see you. I definitely want to catch up with you. Um, lips are sealed, but um, definitely want to hear what's going on on your end. Hope all is well. Um, LA, li- no, Lalit. Lalit Guy One, I'm going to say it is. Hi. Uh, Natural Wedding Beauty. Uh, good morning. Shauna the Artist. Uh, Zan, Zan Ross Makeup. Readings by Lisa. Um, Matilda Merriam. Good morning, all you ladies. Um, Matilda, Matilda Merriam says, Hi, Sonia. Long time. Hi, you. Thanks for being on. The Addictive Beauty. Uh, Francine. Francino Pro, hi from Paris as well. Hi, good morning, Kanda Shepherd, Sheer Design Studio, uh, Jessica Prater, uh, Joe Dead 96, Jacora Monique, good morning, good morning, Maddie Mendez, yes, 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 Maddie's also from Paris, so good afternoon for you ladies. Um, I have been emailing back and forth with different venues since like four o'clock this morning, so <laughs> I think my body's just getting used to it and it's been waking up at that time, and every time I, I, I have emails from you know, all the Parisian folks. So um, I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited that I'm going to be in your neck of the woods very, very soon. Um, Maddie Mendez, I will be there. Well, I hope so. Um, So I think that the website to register for it actually will be up today. Um, Like last little bits of it, we were working on it last night and it's just over with my my back-end person kind of getting it done. Um, But mark your calendar, June 3rd at the Westin in Paris. Um, I will make sure that it is up soon and I can also, for you ladies, I know Maddie Mendez and Francine, I can actually send you the link um, a little sooner too because you guys are right there. So, um, Good morning Ashley Adams and uh, Rachel, um, Francine, Francine O'Pro, we are inspired to have you here too. Th- oh my god, thank you so much. I am beyond excited. Like. So I've been thinking about what the class will be about and um, having, having the one that I just had in, in New York was amazing. I mean, we had such an amazing experience and I think I'm going to do a very similar curriculum. So it's going to be the fundamentals of foundation and the fundamentals of the sales of your business. So um, because I keep thinking, I'm like, well, I could do a full demo. Um, but if I do a full demo, here's the thing with it. I feel like... I would rather you walk away with one thing really, really solid, which even foundation, you know that that, you know, that conversation will last for hours and hours and hours, and um, some really strong sales principles, and that would be enough. I really believe in not overwhelming, overwhelming you with a ton of information where you're going to leave with just two or three strong pieces. I want you leaving, I'd rather go narrow and deep, if that makes sense. That's what she said, that's what he said, someone said it. But, um, So I'm really excited about it. It's going to be major. Um, I know that um, it has been wonderful to see some of the ladies who have left the event and also those that that have shown up for the webinar who've gotten like results where they've like doubled and tripled their rates already from just being on the webinar. So imagine what it'll be like in the room. I can't wait. Um, And because it's my first time there, you know, I always, always want to over deliver. But I, you know, I want to make sure, I don't know when the next time is I'll be able to do a class in, in, in Paris, so I want to jam pack it where your heads are spinning. <laughs> that's, that's kind of the idea. Um, let's see, Maddie Mendez, so excited. Uh, good morning, The Makeup Ali, T. Stevens. Um, the Makeup Ali, um, also, I need to know what's, what happened with your event. What happened? Um, Zan Ross Makeup, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Beauty by Tamika Renee, good morning. Um, Roche, the makeup artist, good morning. Good morning from the Bahamas. Sheer Design Studio, good morning. Ah, oh, you guys are so, so sweet. Um, T. Stevens, 43. Hi, Sonia. So happy for your success. Thank you so much, Tara. That really means a lot. Um, Kristen MUA, good morning. And My Girls Were the World. Uh, Jamie Baird, The Kinky Crown. So nice to see you guys. It's also nice to see... Um, clients that I've you know from like eons ago like uh, my girls with the world it's so nice to see you um, and it's funny because I actually uh, next weekend 
So next week I'm flying back to New York and I'll be there for a couple of weeks. Um, I have an event that I'm hosting called Beauty Event Mastery. I've been um, in, in the process of doing this program right now, um, which is you know teaching the artists in that group how to put on successful live events, like all of the components. So we have the, the live event for it coming up May 5th through May 7th, really exciting. Um, the weekend before that, um, I think I'm just gonna put it out into the universe. I am working on my last bride. So um, I'm flying in on Thursday and her wedding is on Saturday. Um, so lovely, like so amazing, you know, to be working with her. And you know, when you kind of just know, like, I think I'm done, you know? Um, so seeing clients, former clients like my girls rule the world and just thinking back to all of the, um, going back to all the wonderful brides that I've had in the past, like it really just feels like the closing of a chapter that's, um, you know, it was amazing. So uh, bittersweet, but, um, you know, onward and upward, I guess. Uh, Kristen MUA, hi, good morning. My girls rule the world. Oh, 2010, 2010. Oh, my God. So crazy. Um, time really flies. Uh, Nicole Richards, MUA, good morning. Um, <laughs> is it Jula? <laughs> good morning. And Lumesh, good morning. So um, for the, those of you guys who are just hopping on, I just was, you know, doing a quick, quick little chat on, you know, my, my Abrahamisms this morning, um, you know, and just talking about, like, the, the difference between manifestation through inspiration versus motivation. So <clears throat> um, if you get a chance, I'm definitely going to post this live um, up on my YouTube. Um, I may not post the link on for the YouTube. You might have to go right to the, to the channel, which is Beauty Mastermind, which is very simple to find. I may not post the link on, on IG because um, I'm planning to post the link today for my event in Paris. So for those of you who are in Paris, in London, anywhere close by, like looking forward to seeing you guys. Um, I know that there, you guys have expressed interest about you know something like this. So I'm hoping that it, it'll work. It'll work for us, and uh, we can make it. We can make it amazing. You know, I can't wait. Um, Jacora Monique, I listened to that this morning. It was right on time, wasn't it? Though, oh my God! So I posted. <clears throat> in my Facebook community, I posted the link to the, the Abraham Hicks video that I was listening to this morning on YouTube, and it was just so amazing about the difference between you know inspiration and motivation, and you know which one do you want to operate from in terms of alignment. So like you know when you're thinking of well how, you know how do I manifest money? How do I manifest money? Because that was the question that the person was asking, and you know Abraham was saying well. If you're coming from a place of motivation, which is, you know, going to a job and getting paid, it's, a, it's very different than inspiration where, you know, so the money may come to you like it just shows up in your bank account, right? Maybe an inheritance, something like that. Or it could come to you through the form of, form of an idea. So, um, you know, but then it's up to you to be open to receive the idea and to move forward with it. So I was using that as... Um, I was using the, the Paris um, class as an example of that um, because honestly, like, I have no idea what's going to happen. <laughs> I have no idea what's going to happen, but I trust that, you know, if I got the inspiration, because that's why it resonated to me because I was like, that's exactly what happened. I really felt inspired to, first it was, I want to go to Paris. I need a vacation and I want to go to Paris because um, I was going to go back to Hawaii, but it's like, no, it doesn't feel like Hawaii this time. So then Paris, and then I'm seeing myself like, drinking a ton of wine, <laughs> go, you, know, you know, just looking at all this beautiful art and really seeing the sights. And then I started thinking, wow, this vacation is going to be amazing. It's also going to be very expensive to do it how I want to do it. Um, and, then, and then I was like, well, wait a minute. Wouldn't it be really fun to also teach a class when I'm there? And that's how it started to kind of just unfold. So, um, you know, as I continue to do these lives moving forward, I mean, the class is in like 43 days. Um, I'm going to share with you like what's going on because it's almost like a little, um, you know, experiment. Like, hey, how's it, you know, how does this inspiration thing really work? But when I got the inspiration for it, um, so like two weekends ago was kind of when I was like, okay, I'm going to do it. And then... I messaged my coach and she was like, you should totally do it. That sounds amazing. 
And then, um, <laughs> I know I talked about it on another IG Live, but then I saw the movie Something's Gotta Give, which is one of my favorite movies with Jack Nicholson and um, Diane Keaton. And uh, for those of you who have seen it, the whole end of it is in Paris. You know, like I just kept getting these things, these in inspiration points. So I was like, okay, I have to do it. Um, so I am using this to test the theory, which I, is not a theory, which I know is true. Um, but, you know, hopefully it also serves as an example, you know, for, for anyone else, you know, like if you're worried about like, well, I don't know how it's going to go. I don't know either. I have no idea. Sorry about that. My brother is so annoying. You know how I said I'm excited he's coming to visit? He's so annoying. He keeps calling me. I say, text me. Um, anyway, but you know how, um, oh, see, he made me lose my train of thought. Anyway, the point is. I'm gonna keep sharing with it, letting you know how it is, um, because I want to be as open to the process of, you know, my doubts and insecurities as I'm going through it. Um, because even though there might be those doubts and insecurities, ultimately I know that whatever it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be. But it will be. I do know that. Um, S. Dot M. U. A. Good morning. Uh, Vivranting. Good morning. That's a great name. Um, Decora Monique. That's so exciting. If you need me to pass out. <laughs> pens and papers I'm your girl <laughs> well thank you yeah I mean um, I'm sure I'll god I haven't even gotten that far I just um, you know said yes to the venue this morning which you know made me want to throw up a little bit but I was also super excited um, so <clears throat> yeah we'll see um, I do really believe in um, you know helping my clients find their source of power so they can take action but I also feel like it's important to uh, model, you know, what I ask others to do. So, um, you know, I keep putting myself out there in this way because I feel like, you know, if I could be the example for it too, it, it helps all of us. So, uh, my girls with the world, what are your thoughts on microblading? I just got it done. Well, what are your thoughts on it? If you just got it done, let me know what, what you think. I'm curious to know. I, I For me, I don't have a an opinion quite yet. Um, you know, I'm very picky with things, so um, it's just like lash extensions. I think they can be great if they're done beautifully. Most of the time I can tell when someone's wearing lash extensions and I don't like that. Um, I feel like if we're gonna tell the lie, like <laughs> let's make the lie believable. So, you know, with the microblading, it's kind of the same thing. If, it, if it's an awesome, precise, um, you know, um, application, I think it's an amazing, amazing thing. And then also like the, touching because obviously if it's microblading it's a form of tattoo so what does that look like in a couple of years and all of that good stuff um, Mikey makeup blessings can't wait to work with you in the future well me too me too me too it'd be great to um to collaborate in one in, in a way or another you never know um okay so I think that's it for me today I don't really have um too much else to say I just was really inspired to you know share the inspiration versus motivation thing if you missed any part of it um I'll have this up on the YouTube today so you can check it out um for those of you in Europe or anybody who feels like you know you need a vacation too um I invite you come join me in Paris it's going to be really really fun uh I mean it's Paris I don't have to say anything else it's Paris so um have a wonderful day and I will see you soon Bye.